So let me create new folder for today class. So let me copy the notes. So let's open the VS code now. Let's try to open the folder. Okay, so in last class, uh, what we are discussing about, uh, we started positions, right? So you come to positions, what are the different kind of uh, positions we have? What are the different kind of positions we have? See, the one is, what are the different positions in CSS? The one is a static position. The one is absolute position. The one is relative position. And the one is the fixed position. And one is a Z index. Walking Z index. See, coming to the first one, static position, what are the points we already discussed in the last class? In static position, elements are going to be arranging in static order. In this position, see, one more time I'm writing the notes. In this position, all elements are arranging in Static order. In this position, in this position, elements are not movable. One more point. In this position, in this position, our top right bottom left properties will not work left properties will not work okay so uh, by default every element in static position this is the one more point uh, in the last class we discussed by default every element in static position in static position. So this is the thing we discussed so far for the static position. The next one is absolute position. What about absolute position and how this is going to be applicable and what are the different kind of rules and regulations for the absolute position. In absolute position, elements are movable. In absolute position, elements are movable. Okay, in this position, elements are movable. One more point. In this position, in this position, we can able to apply, we can able to apply a top, right, bottom left properties in this position elements can able to elements can overlap elements can overlap in this position in 
this position. So elements are taking position from elements are taking position from corners. See what are the corners here? What are the corners here? One is the top left. One is the top uh, right. And one is the bottom left. And one is the bottom right. So these are the corners basically. You can able to move the element from any one of the corners. One more important point in this position. Elements are taking position value, position value from body. Um, so this is the one more important point we have to remember in a absolute position. So what are the different points? The first point is very simple point. In this position, elements are more or less. Elements are not strict like static position. And in this position, we can able to apply top, right, to bottom, left to properties also. And in this position, element can overlap. In this position, elements are taking position from corners. What are the different corners we have? Everything is a box. For box, how many corners are available? One is the top left corner, one is the top right corner, one is the bottom left corner, one is the bottom right corner. Four corners are there. See, from any, any one of the corner, you can able to move the element. But the last point is important point. In this position, elements are taking position value. The important thing is position value. Position value. What is the position value here? The position value is something like, okay. So what are the different kind of position values? One is the top, one is the right, one is the bottom, one is the left. These are the position values basically. See, these position values are adjusting from body. Adjusting from body. That is a very important point we already discussed about an absolute position. Now, the third one is a relative position. Relative position also same like absolute position, but a smaller change. Small change for relative position. Let me go. Let me go. This is a relative position. So, for relative position, how elements are going to be arranging, we have to discuss. In relative position, elements are movable. That is okay, fine. In this position, we can able to apply top, left, to bottom properties, all properties. That is also fine. And the next point, in this position, elements can overlap. That is okay. And one more thing, in this position, elements taking position from corners. That is also same. And in this position, elements are taking position value from body. So body, not body here, from adjacent elements. This is the point actually we need to change here. See, the last point only change in the relative position. In this position, elements are arranging in relative order. The more important point I want to write. In this position, elements are arranging, elements are arranging in relative order. In relative order. So relative order is, I will, I will show, programmatically what is this uh, relative order and all and here also I want to write a property in this position in this position elements are arranging in static order elements are arranging in static order no no no, no. absolute order absolute order so these are the points we have to remember so till now any confusion Till now, any confusion? We already done some programs about the static position and absolute position and relative position. I already discussed. So, diagrammatically, I will show what is this static position, what is this absolute position, what is this relative position, and all. Uh, yesterday, I drawn a diagram, and one more time, I'm trying to drawing a diagram for the positions. Then you can able to clearly observe how the static position will be. So let me draw the four boxes here. The first box is about the static, second box about the absolute, third box about the relative, and fourth box here is a fixed position. And here I will write a Z index also. So Z index also. Now let me give the points for this. 
give the headings. This is a starting position. This is absolute position. Absolute. And now this is a relative position. Now this is a fixed position. Fixed position. Sorry, fixed position. And this will be Z index. So how Z index also will start. Hmm. Now come to the first box. In first box, for example, if I'm having multiple elements, okay, let me try to draw some elements. This is my first element. And uh, this is my uh, second element. And uh, this is my third element. I'm trying to drawing uh, multiple elements in a first box. In first web page, I'm trying to drawing multiple elements. Uh, black color one, red color one, and green color one. Three elements are arranging one after another. One after another. In static position, element cannot able to move. Element is not movable, remember it. So the second way, in absolute position, what is happening? In absolute position, what is happening? For example, I draw an element like this. The second element maybe overlap on top of the first element somewhere it is going to be adjusting like this the second element i can able to draw something like this this is possible in absolute position in absolute position what is going to be elements can able to overlap in absolute position suppose for the third element i can able to draw like this from here to here. see what is happening here in absolute position elements are taking position from body itself Elements are taking position. First element got arranged from here to here. And second element is going to be arranging from here to here. And the third element is going to be arranging from here to here. From top left. But elements are taking position from taking from body edges. Body edges something like a, a body top edge, body right edge, body bottom edge, body left edge. Whatever the element you are going to be drawing in this absolute manner, those elements can able to move. At the same time, elements are taking position from any one of the corner. At the same time, element can able to take position value from top or right or bottom or left. Got my point? So everybody got to understand what is the major difference between the static and absolute? What is the major difference between the static and an absolute? Here in absolute position, how absolute position is going to be working on? How should Pavan, Praswal, Ritesh, Ruchi, Ruchi? Is there any confusion with this static and uh, absolute positions? No, no sir. sir. Okay, that's fine. So let's go for the uh, relative position now. How relative position is going to be executed? For example, this is my first element. Sorry. This is my first element. I'm trying to drawing a position of a box here. This is my first box. And I want to design uh, another element. I want to draw another element. Another element which is going to be taking position from the adjacent element. See, first element it is taking position from body. Why? Because there is no relative element for the first element. That is the reason it is taking position from the top and left. But second element is already one element is available on top. One element is already relatively available on top. That is the reason second element taking position from the adjacent element, not from the, not from the body edge, not from the top body edge. But left side, there is no element. That is the reason it is taking position from the body. But top side, we have already one element available. That is the reason relatively from the adjacent element, it is taking position. This is called relative position. See, most of most of uh, real-time examples, real-time practical things, people will use absolute position mostly. Relative position, rarely people will use. Mostly people will use absolute Okay, but relative, how relative will be? A small difference. A small difference between absolute and relative. 
there is a big difference between the static and absolute, but a small difference between the absolute and relative. And the absolute, a position value taking from the body, but in relative, position value taking from adjacent element. Adjacent element, that is what actually relative is. Everybody clear about a relative position? So this adjacent three, element means adjacent element means a previous element. See, I, I will take example, no issues about it. Huh? I will take a static absolute relative one more time today. That is not a problem. Practically, I will show. Okay, now come to the point fixed position. What is this fixed position? For example, uh in in more websites, a lot of websites, some header is going to be fixed. Some header is going to be fixed, but your complete body is scrollable. Your complete body is scrollable. Body is scrolling, body content is scrolling, but body content is scrolling, but your header is not moving from there. Your header is basically fixed. Whenever you want to make fix some element not related to the body content, then we need to go for the fixed position. So this is something like header. For example, my header, I don't want to move with body. Sir, for example, uh, nav bar. Yeah, it's nav bar. It's nav bar. It's a header header content. See, uh, yesterday I shown Amazon. Amazon I shown and Flipkart yes. I shown. Yeah. So for example, let me go with the Flipkart. Then you go with the Flipkart.com. So your content will scroll, but header will not scroll. Your complete content will scroll. See, can you see and observe? So header is not scrolling the blue color one, which is having some search box and login button and become seller more cart and all. But that is not movable, but complete page is moving here. Got my point? So when you want to develop this kind of thing, you need to go with a fixed position. The first element, the blue color one which is available na, that is basically fixed here that is the reason that top one is not moving the remaining content is moving here is it clear so this is a way of uh, fixed yes. position this is a way of fixed position let me try to explain all the static uh, absolute relative and fixed also and uh, for fixed also i will write the notes this is absolute, this is relative. Third one is relative. Okay. Let me check the session is recording or not. Okay. Now come to the last uh, third one. So this is relative. This is a fixed one, fixed position. How fixed position? See, all the points are as usual common. All the points are as usual common. In this position, elements are arranging in. See, let me let me copy the content and I will change some point where required. In this position, elements are arranging in fixed order. Okay, fixed order. In this position, element is element is not moving. Element is sorry, sorry, sorry. Element is movable. Element is movable, but we can make we can make it stick on body. We can make it stick on body. Not related to not related to content, body content. So the big point here is, see the point is very important. The second point is very important. In this position, element is movable. Elements are movable, but we can make it stick on body, not related to the body content. Whatever the body content we have. See, movable means I can able to move the top left, all these things, but I can able to make stick the particular element on top of the body content. But remaining content is moving, Whatever the element you make it fix, that element is not moving anywhere. In this position, we can able to apply top left uh, all these properties. That is okay. And in this position, element can overlap. Yeah, overlap. 
and in this position elements are taking position from corners remaining all the things are as usual remaining all these things are as usual the only second point i got changed for the fixed position now let me explain uh, all the programs which are related to the uh, static absolute relative and fixed okay so let me try to take a new program and say which is static position okay. Okay, static position static underscore position dot html let's try to take uh, two divisions here this is my first division and this is my second division i'm taking only two divisions only two divisions here. Let me take the style sheet for them. And first division, which is having some class called one. And second division, which is having a class called uh, two. That's fine. Now come to the first division related content. The one, first of all, before that, for both divisions, I want to write a common style sheets, some width. 100 pixel height, 100 pixel. I just want to make a width and height for the both ones. Now come to the class called one. For one, I want to give some background color. And which is something like uh, aqua mine. But for the second one, I want to take a, a background color, which is related to this people. Okay, that's fine. And by default, By default, position is static. By default, position is static, but I'm not writing position for anything. For division, I'm not writing position here. Position, position here, I'm not writing a static position. No need to write static. Why? Because of by default, uh, by default, uh, uh, every element, every element will take a uh, static position every element will take a static position every element is arranging in static position i can say like this arranging in static position only so i'm just uh, making this statement here making comment for this let me give the comment now let me execute this program if I execute this program, we can able to clearly see uh, two elements, one after another. We can able to we can able to see two elements, but these two elements one after another, very clear. Okay, so the two elements, two different colors. This is the first element. This is the second element, but these two elements are arranging one after another. Can you please clearly observe this? Too? One after another, I cannot able to move the element. I cannot able to move the top element or bottom element. Why? Because by default, these two elements are in static position. Static position elements are not movable. Let me try to move the first element. I'm trying to moving the first element. Please move. Hey, first element, please move 100 pixel left. Please move uh, top also 100 pixel or 50 pixel down. See, but it cannot able to move here. It cannot able to move. I'm trying to writing some top and left properties here, but these two properties will not apply here. These two properties will not apply. See, I cannot able to move the first element. I cannot able to move the top value and left value both also. Why? Because these two elements are in static position here itself. Now let me copy the program and paste in a new program. Copy this, take new and save it to this absolute position absolute absolute underscore position dot html okay let me try to copy paste the complete content and here i'm just saying that position is absolute position is absolute just i got changed it I got changed it. The position is absolute here. Okay, let me change the colors. Colors are very, very light colors. I just want to give the little bit thick colors here. 
and this queue I want to go with uh, some loop. Little bit thick color I'm writing. Okay. So here it is 50 pixel. And this one I want to move left value 100 pixel and top value also 100 pixel. See the first element I'm trying to moving left value. The first element I'm trying to moving left value and top value. For second element also I'm trying to moving 100 pixel and 100 pixel top and left both I'm trying to moving. I'm trying to moving both sides left side and the top side and bottom element also I'm trying to moving left side and top side. See I already told you in absolute position in absolute position element is movable right. Elements are arranging in absolute order. In the second point you try to observe in this position elements are movable. And in this position, we can able to apply top, right, bottom, left properties also. At the same time, in this position, elements can overlap. In this position, elements are taking position from corners. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so let me launch the application. So this is absolute. Absolute. Launch absolutely. Okay, can you see and observe? The first element already moved and second element also already moved. See, what is the value here for the first element? Here the value is how much I given? And here also how much I given? This is 50, 50. This is 50 pixel and this is also 50 pixel. 50 pixel from top and 50 pixel from left. And this second element, 100 pixel from top and so 100 pixel from left sorry okay. 100 pixel from top and 100 pixel from left side okay now you can see and observe element is taking position from body or not and here also element is taking a position value from body position value from body Okay, let me try to, let me try to apply the value, let me try to apply the value left and right. I am giving left value 50 and right value 50 and left value 100, right value 100. See opposite, opposite faces, opposite faces I am trying to giving, I am not giving actually a corner values here. I am trying to giving opposite faces. Opposite face is what here? Left and right. And one more opposite face is left and right. For the first element, left and right, please take 50-50. And bottom also, I am trying to giving uh, left and right 50 100, 100 See what it is going to be happening now. What it is going to be happening now. Oh, what happened? The only left value got applied. Only see what is happening now. You can see and observe only left value got applied 50 applied 100 applied. What about right? What about right here? It need to, uh, it has to be con confused now. Why? Because of this 50 already taken. Okay, that's fine. Based on the requirement, based on the requirement, it is taking 50 here and it is taking 100 here. But what about uh, year 50 and what about year 100? I already given the properties like uh, left and right, right? But what about a right value? It is not actually uh, taking the right value. It is taking priority only the left value, but it is not going to be taking the right value. Got my point? Okay, so now you may ask a question sir can i move uh, can i can i take this property right property before of the left now tell me now tell me how this is going to be applied i am giving right left left right i am giving right left left right then tell me what is going to be happening 
सी वेरी क्लियर ओके स्टिल इट इज अप्लाइंग ओनली लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट इज ओनली अप्लाइंग हियर बट राइट इज नॉट एक्चुअली टेकिंग अप रियालिटी ओके लेट मी चेंज हियर आल्सो राइट एंड लेफ्ट so element is going to be arranging for the from the first corner only but the first corner only top left it may be a top it may be a left first priority only left not right right is not applied okay if i am not actually taking the left value if i am not taking a left value what it is going to be happening then what it is going to be happening then i am just giving the right 50 right 100 then tell me right 50 right 100 can you see and observe there is no left left is left and top is first priority left top not there element already moved to right side now i am trying to giving the top value top is also 50 top is also 50 and uh, top is also uh, 100 now you can tell me how these elements are going to be arranging from where it is taking position from from where it is taking position from now these two elements are taking position from right top am i clear am i clear yes yeah, sir yeah so uh, let me change the values let me change the values so right and uh, bottom bottom spelling b o t t o m bottom and the list okay now uh, control c control v now right bottom right bottom 50 100 now you can see now you can see what is happening elements are taking position from right bottom okay so can i give left bottom see now you can see left bottom see wherever you want you can able to adjust the element but element can able to move from the corner only you have to remember this you have to remember this is it clear so let me go for uh, left and top and here also left and top but i'm not giving 100 uh, yeah i'm giving 100 pixel that is fine and width of the element i'm just arranging 50 percentage of the screen and here also width of the element uh, 70% of the screen so let's see how this is going to be applicable so can you see and observe so this kind of designs uh, this kind of designs you can able to work with an absolute position this kind of design you can able to apply from absolute position absolute position is available only for for the divs divisions we have two divisions here everybody clear what is this an absolute position is let me clear the width here let me clear the width here. that is fine now the next program i am copying the complete program and save in a new program save it as relative position now the program for relative relative underscore position relative position dot html see i just want to change position to relative relative it's fine see what is happening in absolute position 
What is happening in absolute position? Just try to observe. Sir, the session is going to be ending in one minute. Please join one more time. Please join for one more time. The same link. Is it clear? The session is going to be ending in uh, less than one minute. Please join one more time. Everybody. Kaushik Pawan, Prasvel, Rashvik, and Ruchu. Ritesh Ruchu. Yes,